The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. Was this? Why is Mecca frozen? Well, that's all relevant to the video was coming up. I am Mecca, and if you want a whole bunch of backstory and haven't been following the Frost shenanigans, I believe this one might be the most relevant to the one we're talking about today. As we all know, Frost was the the infamous sexism, sexism in gaming and blah blah blah. Women don't exist. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Who cares? Everybody got triggered by it, despite the fact that G4 was going under long before they even thought of hiring her. This network was doomed to failure before anything happened as far as that rant because they didn't know what direction they were going. Not only did they not know what direction they were going, they would hire new people who would be super on board with whatever stupid social justice warrior message was, was going on of the day. Frost would be reassured that no, 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 we're committed to this, this message, this social justice activism, yada, yada, whiner message. Without a doubt, there will be backlash and then a new person would come in, and they would be completely against that. So, Frosk has now responded once again. After being completely silent for the last couple of months since our, our last epic Washington Post dissection, where they confirmed everything that I've been saying, kind of reinforced a lot of what a lot of people have been saying in, in every little piece of it. Frost didn't help. The industry the, the industry is overcrowded with YouTube filling the need of G4. All of those things. Frost is back. Here is her new tweet. Are you ready for it? I have been angry for a long time with my peers for not using their power and voice to stand up for others in the industry. Had to come to some terms with the, that. The people who had known for years in the industry, who I thought were good friends, just weren't. It devastated me for a long time. Oh, so your co-workers who were nice to your face threw you under the bus to save their own butts? Like everybody would. I've been through that a few times. People you think are your friends who are completely dead silent if you do something to screw up. If you're completely dead silent when you break rules you don't know about. Anyway, I'm leaving the industry. Found out work elsewhere. The industry is really messed up and what happened to me and plenty of others wasn't fair. And it could have been avoided if we all stood up together. You let me down, but I get why. Cheers and good luck. What this, what this message says is don't ever align yourself with a group of anything on the internet. You always have to look out for yourself first, no matter what, because no matter who you are employed by, who you might be associated, affiliated with, who says they're your friends, they're not. They're not your friends. Is that what the message we're getting? Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, found new work elsewhere. So she, she's, work, she's probably working behind the scenes somewhere, and something less visible. So this industry is really messed up. And what happened to me and plenty others. So this Which industry is you talking about? Gaming or probably, acting? Because probably, I, the, probably the esports. Well, I thought she was more of an entertainment industry sort of personality who just happened to be reading a card about gaming. No. Which is what they want, were wanted because that's what worked 20 years ago. My friends, this is America at its finest. Drink it up. You know, it says, you let me down, but I get why. Uh, there's a, there's a, a parting shot at, at whomever. I mean, this, this is aimed towards someone specific. Yeah, that's, that's probably what I somebody get. like Gabber and Zipper and Scooty and... Hi, Billy! Hi, Maggie! Hi, Fishface! And <laughs> Cubby and... There is no Cubby in the Ramones. <laughs> I don't know their names. Rookie and... <laughs> Zabu. Pancake and... Zabu. Zabu. Eating the ranch's food. Yeah. Again. <sighs> I really want to know what's happening. But, of course, she's getting slammed. So, here, you want to read some of the best slams? Because I know that, that people still want to fling them at mm -hmm. me. So This is kind of genuine. Sad to see you go. Good luck where, where you go. Smiley face. Okay. Uh, it's so nice to you see you. You never make it as a man. You never make it as a man. <laughs> it's a man, baby. It's, it's so nice to see you go. You don't represent us. You hated your job. You looked down on other gamers. Uh, the gaming industry does not need people like you who use the platform to push personal agendas. If it's not gaming, we don't want to hear it. Best of luck wherever you decide to go, okay? You took a teacher's job and you quit because kids were unruly and rude. People before you suffered much more greatly than this. All you did was stagger progress made by others in favor of validating your own feelings. Self-pity comes at a cost. 
here's the thing though we don't want to be taught we want to we want entertaining well, game commentary like i want to kind of know if the game is crap and broken well they're they're kind of likening likening it to a teacher's job where you have to deal with a lot of unruly you know, students yeah. and chat oh yeah oh yeah especially if your audience are 12 and under you know if you're mm-hmm. But but at the same time, I mean, well, or or the mentality of twelve and under. Yeah. And I get I get why she went off on a rant like that though. I really really do because sometimes you just get enough. You get enough people coming in trying to do do this. The dog piles and yeah. and if you can't take it after a decade or so on the internet, like for me, I've only been on maybe for three. Well, there's for that four. old saying: if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. You know? So. <sighs> Maybe. Which, is, which is why I'm like, well, people are just going to say, Mecca, you're a hypocrite. Because being a hypocrite is worse than being a sociopath yeah. on, online. All right, well, maybe you should stop being a woke virtue signaling lunatic, and you might not push so many people away. Just a thought. And before you try to freak out, freak the F out, I watched the English LPL cast when you did it and thought you were top five casters on Earth. Go back to that, Frost. Oh, I remember she wasn't very liked in a lot of the gaming stuff. Yeah, too, she's, I, she, I think she has a very abrasive personality. And that's <laughs> just obvious sexism. What industry? Name names. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. Blanket na- blaming your peers is probably going to work out just as well for you as blanket blaming gamers did. If whatever industry is truly messed up, being specific might actually change something. Otherwise, this is just attention seeking. I'll be specific. It's the people who have the snarky comebacks and the snarky clapbacks and think they're original by saying the exact same thing everybody else does. That that is the part about being any sort of personality, any sort of influencer, any sort of celebrity. Mm-hmm. And the part that I think being very new to this um, is social media, is that people are not equipped or or capable or always instantly ready to handle the instant amount of insanity and and you have just as many people in the sjw community i feel you have just as many people in the anti-sjw community who also never let a single thing go and until people can kind of get past a lot of that i don't think there's any any way any of this is going to get fixed or changed but i mean i i think that once we kind of learn a little bit more how to deal with being online all the time other than that though it just gets too much the dog piling the clapbacks the phoniness the yes we're a team we're a group we're camaraderie in some way that yeah they're lying to you (laughs) yes i mean this person actually says it serves you any solace you gain new uh, gain new fans not just for your work, but your ethos and infectious passion. Myself and my wife, and many other new fans will be sad to see you go. But frankly, we get it. We all love all love Frost. Best wishes in all endeavors. Destroy some new toilets. Okay, well there's a vote of confidence, sort of. Uh, you get what you haven't deserve. No, you're only worried for your peers when you got fired. Funny, isn't it? So, okay, so we have good luck to you, whatever you do. Massive talent and essential voice. You did great work in esports, so I can understand your approach. It's as if multiple times now you've been called out while staying as general as possible, but don't really, don't really know what anybody is supposed to do or supposed to take from that. Um, so, okay, you have a couple people dancing on... on well, of course they're career. going to, because she keeps doing... So, like, like do you, do you really need a nasty, I hate you all, burn your bridges sort of tweet yeah. at this point? Good riddance. But good riddance. at the same time, I feel the same way for a lot of this. A lot of this is like, yeah. I, I just don't want anything to do with a lot of this toxic crap online. And you kind of want to just completely cut yourself out of yeah. of the cancerous growth that it turns into, you know, but... Mm. And there's someone responding with Jeremy Clarkson, who's also in a bit of trouble. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Anyway, I mean, so... Uh, so, yeah. We don't know who specifically she's talking about, but we, we, kind, we can kind of guess. It's probably going to be G4, the eSports yeah, the st- I mean, we know she people, recently got... They all got of, fired. So. A lot of people behind the scenes. You know what? I noticed that... Well, she probably... Listen, these people have other commitments, but when Gina Darling heard that... 
Uh, she was fired from G4. Everybody got got let go. You know, I didn't hear her talk say anything about about Frost or anything. But like I said, we're not saying I'm not drawing conclusions. It's just like, hey, listen. I doubt they even had any interaction. They, prob- they probably no, didn't. Yeah, even, they probably didn't even work together. Probably so. weren't even in the building at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So judging her based on she didn't reach out to somebody she might not have even known about. I mean, I. Yes. That's a, that's another thing. I mean, I I get a lot of this. I I have gotten a lot of this where people are like, well, you didn't reach out to this person when they got thrown off of YouTube. Yeah, I don't know this person. Not only did I not know those people, they haven't reached out to me for the past three years when I've been shadow banned. Here's a here, here's what a lot of people don't <laughs> understand. And the, YouTube is not not really a place where you go in you go you clock, you clock in, in no. and then you meet the guy clock you up. never have any yeah. interaction hey. with these people if you never have any interaction yeah. with these people if you don't see me on stream with somebody assume hey. I don't know them hey Phil <laughs> hey Rob how you doing <laughs> not bad hello Ralph hello Fred how's everything <laughs> oh going good <laughs> crazy weather we're having yeah you know, it's not it's not a physical space where you see people. I mean, you kind of have to make an effort to to, do to really it. see. Yeah, you have yeah. to you have to make an effort to even be to be aware these people exist. Yeah. And that's kind of how I'm at. Like I said, I tried to cut myself out of as much of this as I could just to focus on what I want to see and what I want to do because. Dear God, I get it. I get it, lady. I am also tired of the freaking well, toxicity. <laughs> well, I'm curious what's what's this next thing she's going to be doing. So, I am too. Uh, I am so too. So anyway, anyway, you know, yeah. you could you could even about someone you dislike. You say be- best of luck to you. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Good luck, Frost Kieran. Good luck. I mean, listen, you've got your work cut out for you. Good luck. <laughs> that's that's bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. Hi, Billy. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Fishface.